what do you do? Babysitting. Sounds like an easy job, right? But what happens when something goes wrong? Will the babysitter know what to do? Our first story deals with just this topic. It takes place in Canada, in a small town north of Saskatoon. Every day after school, 14-year-old Dylan Desjardins walks home with his sister Kiara and his young cousin Morgan. Their parents are at work, so Dylan is in charge. Kiara is 11 and takes care of herself quite well. Morgan is 9 years old and suffers from mild cerebral palsy. It's been pretty difficult. She's had probably about seven or eight seizures. She's been in the hospital quite a bit. She's nine, and she's at about a four-year-old level. One day after school, Dylan is relaxing on the couch going over some of his homework. Morgan is hungry, so Kiara makes her a ham sandwich. Kiara then heads to the playroom, where Morgan will soon join her. While working on his math homework, Dylan suddenly hears a strange noise in the kitchen. I look and she's like trying to cough and stuff and her face got red and then she had her hands and wrapped around her neck and I knew she was choking then. Dylan rushes to the kitchen to help Morgan. He puts his arms around her and thrusts his fist into her belly. It doesn't work. Morgan is still choking. I thought in the back of my head that um, I wasn't going to get the food out of when she was choking. So I just I try not to think of that and just keep doing it. After several more thrusts, the sandwich is expelled from Morgan's throat and she's able to breathe again. Dylan saves the day by administering the Heimlich maneuver, a technique he learned from his swimming instructor. When Morgan's mother finds out what happened, she rushes home from work. Naturally, she's upset. When I saw her, she was okay, but I just cried. I just hugged her and I cried. We took her to the minor emergency just to make sure that everything was okay, that her throat was fine, and but it was, it was pretty scary. So, someone is choking. What do you do? If the person who is choking is not able to cough or speak, then you need to perform the Heimlich maneuver. Have the person stand up and then place your arms around their waist. Make a fist and place it just above the victim's belly button. Grab your fist with your other hand and deliver upward thrusts into the abdomen. Keep repeating until you expel the item that is lodged in their throat. Since choking is a leading cause of accidental deaths, learning the Heimlich maneuver is highly recommended. When word gets around town of Dylan's life-saving actions, he gets labeled a hero. But getting this kind of attention is uncomfortable for this humble young man. He was like, you know, why is everyone making a big deal? You know, because we're all thanking him and hugging him, and we cried, and he was just like, why, why are you all making a big deal about this? I, I did the Heimlich maneuver on her, and, you know, she was choking. I don't really think I'm that big of a hero, because I just, uh, knew what I had to do. Just something I knew in common sense. Had Dylan not known what to do, it was just, everything was just going through my head. Like, it just could have been so much worse. When I got back from the city, like, gave him a great big hug. And he, like, he was like, it's not a big deal. Like, why are you crying? He just didn't realize how big of a deal it actually was. 